You will not believe the art supply in this box. Honestly, I've never heard of it before and somehow we need to create art. I don't know how this is gonna go. You might be able to tell that we're in a different location. This is actually the very first video that I'm filming in the new house. In case you haven't seen, there's a moving series up on my channel. There's a few vlogs up there already, but we've got lots more to come and they're really fun. But first, we need to open this package, so shall we do that? <laughs> Upcrate kindly reached out and asked if I would like a box to try. I've never used their subscription boxes before. So obviously I picked the weirdest box. The most unique box, a material I've never tried. Honestly, I'm really nervous. Oh, look how cool that is, there's like eyes. Okay, you might be able to tell already. These are the materials. We've also got a print. Oh, oh, look how pretty these stickers are. We've also got this print, which is gorgeous, actually. It's not a print, it's more like a flyer. We've got some watercolor paper. There are eight sheets. See if I can save this sticker. I like to save stickers where I can, but this one is just not happening. I'm sorry, that wasn't satisfying at all. Okay, can you sense how nervous I am? We're trying cyanotyping. I'm gonna need to do a little bit of research before we go into those. We've also got CD, DVD, glass, plastic, metal. It's an interesting choice, I'll give them that. Just a gel pen, oh, it's Karen. I always do with more gel pens, I love gel pens. And then we've got this, which it doesn't look like a healthy brush. Considering we're gonna be using quite a harsh medium i think that this won't really matter at all do they still count as bulldog clips i don't know my arm has dented it the word cyanotype comes from ancient greek meaning dark blue impression if you've heard the term blueprint well that's what they use cyanotype for in the olden day i just turned that into olden days it said old we coat a surface with cyanotype and then whatever we lay on top blocks the uv light so it remains white the magic happens when you wash the print in cold water or the brown turns to blue I'm not I'm not gonna lie, there's not a lot of instructions here. So we mix part of A and B together and then we coat the paper, wash for at least five minutes, changing the water periodically until it runs clear. Wouldn't this look cool in a collage or something? Do you not think? Um, you can see, no you can't. What I'm probably gonna do is cut this into six and this is gonna be like the first test run. We're gonna try the pressed flowers. Then I wanna try tracing paper and wax paper and see what materials we can put on top, something like a Posca or an oil-based marker. So maybe we want two actually. Yeah, we're gonna do two pages of six tests. Okay, that was a fun unboxing. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys! I guess we should work on it, yeah? I have a messy cloth and the upgrade box. It says, fill this container with water to create solution A. Shake until powder is fully dissolved. Oh. This is where the 24 hours was. I must have missed it. With water. How much water? Ooh, this one. Oh, it's also yellow. I knew there was a part that said 24 hours. I must have read the instructions, but not the bit before the instructions. I've got my tea and accidentally shook both the bottles. I mean, I say accidentally. It says to shake the bottles. I shook the bottles and it went all over my dress. I'm on this website looking at different ideas and you've got to see these. Firstly, they put the cyanotype on different things. This one's on like gift tags and they've also done like wood and fabric for clothes, which is really cool. This was really cool as well on a newspaper, on rocks. This one I thought was really cool. This is just different everyday objects, fruit as well. Let's see what we can find. Whoa, do you think bubble wrap would work? What do you think that would do? Obviously it's still very messy in the studio. Ah, oh, here we go. This is what I got my partner for Christmas. Ah, oh, these are gonna be awesome, I think. I think they might work. These are the little butterflies that we've also got that I think could work. They're gonna be mostly white, but they have two little dots there. I think it could look quite cute. I had another idea and I don't know if it'll work, but this sheet of paper is 
somewhat translucent. I have my tea and I have a load of random ideas. It's a sticker and it has the potential to show up. This sticker that I thought could work, I think the cogs could work well. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Next up, I've got really cheap tracing paper and wax paper. Something like this string, trying to make a design out of it if we can. I thought that could be quite fun. Oh, the bubble wrap, the bubble wrap. We have this bubble wrap. That's gonna be another one. We could do, I think one of the white ones will be cool. We could do the spider one though. That could be quite cool as well. It just reminds me of a spider. And I need to have my tea. We've got a fine liner, a Posca, and two oil markers. Oh, these smell so bad, I kind of forget. Can you see it's just like sitting on top? Oh, this paper is so thin. I think some of the thinner ones aren't really gonna work. And I will say, if you're watching this and you're a pro at cyanotyping, you might be watching thinking, why on earth am I trying all these things? None of it's gonna work. And you're probably right. I personally learn the most by experimenting and trying out different things. So I've just found everything that's somewhat translucent and we're gonna try it all. But this is all the tests that we're going to be doing tomorrow. I've just put success and block out at the top, if that makes any sense. This is what we're going to do. I'm really excited, but first we need to wait 24 hours. Okay, here's what we need to do. We need to mix these two solutions together, just a small amount in a tray, and then paint the two sheets of paper. I'm telling you this now because we're gonna be doing it in the dark and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see anything that I'm doing. I will have a piece of craft paper to the side in case we have any excess just so that I'm not wasting anything at all. Then we need to allow it to dry, which should take around half an hour. After that, we need to set it in place in the sun and leave it for three to 30 minutes. It's quite quite cloudy outside but I think we're gonna pop it upstairs in the brightest room. I don't think my kitchen is as dark as I thought it was but I really don't want to go upstairs and do this on carpet. Honestly, I can't believe how quickly they changed colour. It was immediate. I don't know how long I'm gonna leave them there for. It is actually quite sunny, maybe like 20 minutes. Some of the papers have bent a little bit though, so I don't know if they're gonna work. It's been almost 20 minutes, but I don't know if they're done or not. Let's grab one. We'll grab this one as a test and rinse it off and see if it does anything. Floated more than I thought it would. I mean, it is doing something, so I might grab another one or two. Should we grab the string? This is what it's looking like. Let's pop it in. Like the lighter areas become darker because this is covered. This is supposed to end up white. I don't know. Oh. Ooh. I think I'm gonna grab the bubble wrap just because it looks the most bronze at the edge. I'm not sure if it worked. Grab this one next, I think. Let's grab this one next. This one's slightly falling off. Yeah, okay, the clip did what I thought it would. This is why I was hesitant to put clips on. Let's do this one. This one might completely disintegrate because it's not watercolor paper. Really hope that this one works. 
Ooh. I think we'll try this one next. There's a little bit of something there. Finally is this one, which I don't think would work. This is the wild card. There is actually a little bit of something there. This is so cool, honestly. Like, they have done something, which I'm happy about. The drawing, though, you can see some of the drawing. Here's the cards, let's see. <gasps> yes! I popped down a cardboard bag and just made this little nook here. So this is where we're gonna dry everything. Gonna leave them in the dark overnight and see what comes of it. It's been 24 hours, how have they done? Honestly, I'm really impressed by this one. This was literally just what I had left over on parcel paper. We've got the chart, let's see how they did. I think the definite successes were the cogs and the butterflies and the plants. The ones that didn't really work, you can just about see. The translucent paper and the sticker. Although they do look quite cool, I'm not gonna lie, you can just about see something on them. If it was solid in place under glass, they could have worked. The definite no was the bubble wrap. I'd say the string was a yes, actually. The string looks decent. Ooh, this one's come out a lot better now. I think the two tracing papers would have had the same results if they were both clipped in place well. Ogs is yes. These are the results. Some of them didn't really make white, but I think they did have a lot of potential and they were still pretty. There's some interesting ideas, though I am disappointed that the bubble wrap didn't work at all because I thought that could have been pretty cool. Moving forward, we're gonna be using all of the yeses. We are gonna be using this paper again because I think it looks pretty cool. And I've got a few other ideas. I have this drawing that I've done on the wax paper. It's fine liner. I've also done these creepy little fish. This is on the thinner tracing paper. Material materials wise we've got all of these different papers that have little prints on a couple of post-it notes that I'm just really curious about page from a book I've got these kind of parcel papers already cut up some glass from a frame and two smaller pieces of glass so that we can press down some of the designs I've made this room as dark as possible, but because of the time of day, this is what we've got. I'm hoping it will still work though. I can't make it any darker than this. I've got all of the cartons sharp. That's everything done for now. This is what it looks like. This is the second round. Except the sun's kind of gone in now. I have all the pieces that we made. There's quite a few of them, honestly. Some were definitely more successful than others. This one kind of did something. But honestly, a lot of the little ones actually turned out quite cool. 
I'm really happy that this one actually has some definition now. You know, I said first time round that I feel like this one had potential. It's definitely getting better. I'm also kind of impressed by the post-it notes. The pink one in particular, I love the way that pink shines through, but it's still blue. I also think these two turned out really good. And this was a little clay model that my partner made. You can see it's kind of a tart wig. I love that it's blurry around the edges. I think this is quite cool as well. The screws also turn out pretty cool. These were the more successful for ones of the second attempt. The craft paper was quite disappointing this time around. This is literally the backing of the gummed pad that we got and nothing happened. We got a little bit of a wash, but nothing happened. This one did something. This is my fish design. It didn't do a lot. I also tried it on scrapbook paper and I think this one turned out pretty cool. It was kind of cream to begin with. The flowers are still there, but the best one might just be the book. Considering this is the free book, that we picked up. It's book paper, but I think that's turned out so well. I think I might have to try a lot more of these because it's kind of free. Next up, we've got the flower buds and the kind of spider shaped one. That's the texture up close. I think that's a really cool design, honestly. This one is a casualty. We lost a bit of the corner, but this was just paint brushes on top. This one didn't work. This one did the same and these ones didn't work. This one that blocked it out. I don't know what happened to that one. This is the exact same paper that worked worked really well previously with the butterflies. This one looked like it was gonna do something, but it didn't work. Then we've got the watercolor paper. This one didn't go to plan. You'll probably know more than me, but I think they're overexposed. This design you can sort of see as well. And these are the other two. This is the fish and we drew some cogs and then put some actual cogs on there. This lot were the final ones that we did. About five or six o'clock in the evening and the sun went in. So it was really cloudy. It was really hard to tell whether the sun was actually touching the paper or not. Because if you remember in the first one, as soon as the paper touched the sun, it changed color. This one took about 10 minutes for it to do it. On Honestly, I'm thinking we could try again on the back. The other thing that we have is these pens that I still haven't tried. These are the experimental ones. They are a lot more blue. It was a really sunny day in comparison. They are so much better. Look how blue they are. Let's try the CD pen first. I've made it a bit darker so that you can see a bit better, but I think the gel pen is so pretty. I always forget how much the CD pen smell. One thing that I really love about cyanotyping is how much art you can make in such a short amount of time. I think there's probably about half in each bottle, maybe a little bit more. And I think it lasts a few months, so I will be doing this again. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing it as a video. I think my favorite one is the Cogs. I think this one turned out so good. What do you think? Which one here is your favorite? And I would love to know if you would ever try cyanotyping. Thank you again to Upcrate for sending me this box to try out. It's a really cool medium. I'll be back on Sunday and then next week I'll see you on Wednesday where we've got a really cool collab coming up with another YouTuber. It's gonna be really fun so make sure you're over there. Hopefully I'll see you then. Bye bye.